She came from a jazz scene in Detroit that was heavily influenced by the concept of Bud Powell. Terry Gibbs said she was the first woman he ever heard that could swing that hard. Who is Terry Pollard? Here on Big on Big. Terry Pollard was born August 15, 1931, in Detroit, Michigan. She was entirely self taught, playing Stardust at age three and a half. Pollard began her career with the house band at the Bluebird Inn, working with tenor saxophonist Billy Mitchell and drummer Elvin Jones. She also worked with Johnny Hill and the Emmett Slay Trio. She was discovered when Terry Gibbs came in to see Thad Jones and couldn't believe how well she played. Pollard toured with Gibbs in the early 1950s playing piano and vibraphone. They recorded several albums, including Terry Gibbs Quartet featuring Terry Pollard. Pollard appeared with Gibbs on an episode of The Tonight Show hosted by Steve Allen. Her collaborations with Gibbs lasted from 1953 to 1957, marking the height of her career. She toured with the Birdland All-Stars. Pollard also performed with John Coltrane, Charlie Parker, Miles Davis, Chet Baker, Nat King Cole, Dinah Washington, Duke Ellington, and Ella Fitzgerald. Pollard recorded a self-titled solo album for Bethlehem Records in 1955 and won Downbeat Magazine's New Artist Award in 1956. Pollard retired from her full-time music career shortly thereafter in order to raise a family, but she continued to play locally in Detroit and performed with artists including Diana Ross and the Supremes. She was inducted into the Michigan Jazz Hall of Fame. Her contributions to the mid-century Detroit jazz scene were recognized in the book Before Motown, A History of Jazz in Detroit, 1920 to 1960. She was incapacitated after a major stroke in 1980. She died in December of 2009 at 78. Terry Pollard has been described as a major player who was inexplicably overlooked. She was a sparkling modern soloist showing in the Bud Powell tradition. Terry Pollard, a wonderful bebop piano player. 